we're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh, well, steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak, though. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. I'm still mad. So, back on topic. I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. But Misuzu Hiraki had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it, it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target senpai? Wait, you're saying Senpai and that Yamano lady knew each other? Senpai never told me anything like that. Maybe it was to keep her quiet? She could have noticed something that the culprit left at the scene. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man. I thought the countryside would be a snooze, but it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh, isn't he that detective? Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. No, oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? Um, sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes! <laughs> Of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. See ya. Oh, you were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. <gasps> ah, my steak's getting cold. Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? really is inside the TV. It's Teddy. Then it wasn't a dream. Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. <laughs> oh, well, this bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep. I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. 
You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. I see. But don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. You didn't know? Of course not. Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I'm a really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? What am I even looking at? Ow! Hmm? You dropped something. Oh, that's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. <laughs> uh, um, Yukiko? <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> awesome! Do you like that one, Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Oh, really? <laughs> Do you like... I want to... Oh, oh, no you don't. How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Guess I should have made an actual pair. Aw, too bad. Here, Chie, your turn. Ah, oh, man. All right, fine. to come to this. Yukiko-san? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. <laughs> oh, Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I can't stop The fourth and the fifth. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. <gasps> really? Really? What, you don't believe me? It's always cancelled. Oh, not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right, all right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? Oh, you 
you should come. <laughs> Looks like Nanako. Yeah, let's all go together. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. Let's bring box lunches. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. Well, it'll work out. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? Yay! Box lunches!
on. <laughs> Let's go.
smash it! Okay, let's go. There are two enemies hanging there! Okay, okay pound an enemy! Go, Yosuke! That's my true strength! Amazing, Mr. Good. 